Well, here we are again. Whoop de doo, says Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo doesn't say that. Although, if, if, if he did, he would say it more like, Roop de roo! Uh, what just happened? Within the first 20 seconds, I'm already off topic. Amazing! You know what I hate about public restrooms? Well, I'll tell you what I hate about public restrooms. It's the flooring, and has nothing to do with interior design choices, you idiot. It's because a lot of public restrooms, their floors are always sticky, and it has nothing to do with some guy walking in with a jar of honey with a wooden spoon, just taking spoonfuls out and just like drizzling it all around the floors. No, nothing like that. It's because of semi-dried urine. Gross! I know! So you go in there wanting to take your number one or number two, or, or number three if you're lucky. I don't even know what that means, I don't even want to know what that means. And you're met with sticky floors every time you take a walk. And I totally meant take a step, because no one actually takes walks in the restroom. Which is kind of weird if you think about it, because it's like, -de 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 -de. Hello Bob, <laughs> I'm just taking my morning stroll. No, that doesn't happen, okay? It's taking a step. I meant stepping on sticky floors, not walking on sticky floors. Which, no wait, I did mean walking on sticky floors. I, I didn't mean taking a walk on a sticky floor. You know what, I'm already off topic again. Let's go back on track. Do -do. But yeah, it's pretty gross. I'm not sure if you females are familiar with the situation because you guys don't get splashback or shake-off drips, okay? Maybe you do. I, I don't know. I've never seen a girl uh, peeing before. At least not in person. <clears throat> Speaking of sticky floors, I have a story that relates to that when I was a wee lad, also known as the wee cone. Uh, that's a lie. So there I was inside a stall doing my business, number one if you're interested. So when I was done, I'd try to get out, but I couldn't. I forget if it was a turny turny or a slidey slidey lock, but all I know was that it was jammy jammed and I was stucky stuck. Yeah, I was stuck inside a public restroom stall. How does that even happen? Why is my voice so weird? <coughs> And why does my throat hurt? <laughs> so no other way out. I had to crawl on my hands and knees and slide underneath the door. Gross, I know. And it was no easy task either. As some of you may know, I used to be quite the hefty child. If you didn't know, here's a picture. Now picture that thing. <laughs> I just called my past self a thing. Someone has self-esteem issues that are unresolved. Now picture that boy trying to fit underneath a restroom stall door. So basically picture this fat kid, okay, covered with semi-dried urine and other fluids that I don't want to know about, and I'm trying to fit through this one foot gaping hole, which sounds perverted all of a sudden. But yeah, it's like picturing a greased pig trying to fit through a kitty door. It's like... I don't know why I made that noise, but you know what I mean. The worst part is, is that one of my friends actually saw me crawl out from under it, and it was really awkward. <sighs> it's like my childhood was full of horrors. I said, I said horrors, okay? H-O-R-R-O-R-S, not whores, okay? Or horses, which is weird, which is, I'm not even going to go into that. Whores and horses. <laughs> Um, someone got killed by that, if, if you know what I mean. You know, hmm. That, I think you, you've heard of the urban legend, right? If not, then never mind. Speaking of children, uh, no, not, not the whores and horses part. The, the, I'm talking about the, the childhood part. Speaking of children, no, wh why, 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 why do fathers let their sons in to the public restrooms and, and they're like four or five years old, the children, not the fathers, because that's kind of weird. That's impossible as well. Well, I guess it is possible if you, 
extract. Okay, never mind. Why do some fathers bring their sons into the public restrooms and let them use the urinals? It's kind of weird because the urinals are like two feet off the ground and in like a bowl shape. So they, the fathers have to hold their children while the child does this. And it's, it's just a weird sight. Not that I'm looking. I shouldn't be there doing my business, my number one, while foot beside me is a man holding their child underneath the armpits and letting him do his thing. It's just, I'm just too close. Why aren't you in a stall? Come on, fathers. I don't want to be there holding my junk. And by junk, I don't mean my cardboard box full of like random things like a picture frame, a tennis racket, and a bowling pin. I meant junk as in my bodunga junk. Strangely enough, my badunga junk is shaped like a bowling pin. <laughs> no, it's not. But yeah, holding my badunga junk, I don't want a kid holding his badinka jink, okay? Beside me, a foot away, that's just weird. Just go into the stall. Speaking of stalls, I have a question for you. I was just wondering if I'm the only one that does this, but if I ever need to go into the stall doing my number two, or number three, I always try to choose the biggest stall. The other stalls, the normal stalls, are always so cramped. It's like, I, I open it? No, you don't open out. You open in for some strange reason, and then you have to like crawl in, and then you have to like somehow shut it behind you. Basically, it's the most cramped thing, uncomfortable, you don't want to touch the toilet seat with your pant leg by mistake, because that's disgusting. Ugh, it's like the nutty professor inside a telephone booth. That's how bad it is. It's like, so I always choose the biggest stall, which happens to be the handicapped stall. The worst thing that has ever happened to me inside a public restroom is that I was using the spacious handicapped stall with so much room and all of a sudden I hear these 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 wheels turning and then I'm like oh no please tell me that's not what I think it is and then you know how you can see through the cracks of the door and I look through and lo and behold it's a person in a wheelchair wanting to use a stall oh no so I'm in there freaking out, feeling horrible, feeling totally bad because I'm in there still going at it with my number two business and he's out there just waiting for his stall. Not like anyone else who could just totally walk into any other stall or use a urinal. He has to wait for me. So I'm like, oh no, what do I do? What do I do? So I sat there on the toilet brainstorming an idea and once I got it, I implemented the plan. I did my number two, I cleansed myself, you didn't even need to know that, but then I flushed the toilet, unlocked the door, opened it, and then this is what I looked like. That's right, I crawled out, pretending that my legs didn't work, so I seemed like I could use the stall, legally. Well, there's no legal or illegal issues, but I just wanted to make myself look like not a douchebag. That's a fake story. That, that last part was a fake story. I do apologize. And that's the end of the video. Goodbye!